Hello students, today we will be going over 5.4, finding common bases and solving exponential equations. So our objective, I can solve exponential equations, and it's very similar to what we did before on 5.3. So 5.4, we're first going to see if the bases are the same. Most of them are not going to be. So we're going to have to convert them all to have the bases the same and um, make sure we simplify in the end and make sure we're using our um, exponential properties. Remember to pay attention to the power rule distribution. So make sure you add an R there because that's spelled incorrectly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do number one here. I can see this has a base of four. This does not. So four times what would be 64? Let's see, four times four is 16. So well, let's try 4y to the x3, that's 64, okay? So I can say that this is going to be 4 to the third. Now they have the same base, and we can go ahead and put the exponents equal to each other. Negative 3x minus 1 equals 3. Then I'm going to add 1 here. So negative 3x equals 4. And then what do I do? Divide by negative 3. And we never leave a negative on the bottom. So x equals negative 4 thirds. And I prefer fraction over decimal. But there you go for that one. Okay, let's go on to number two. This base is six. That one doesn't have a base of six, so let's make it a base of six. So it's one over six to what power? So what do you think 216 is going to be? Six y to the x. Would it be three again? Yep. Now, six to the third is on the bottom. And we need it to be on the top. This 6 is also on the top. So when we move it upstairs, 6 to the negative 3. And I'm going to kind of cross those parts out there. So now that our bases are the same, I can say negative 3n minus 2 equals negative 3. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add 2 to both sides and just use my problem solving skills here. So negative 3n equals negative 1. Then we want to divide by whatever's in front of n, negative 3. So n equals 1 third. And again, I prefer fraction form over the other types. Okay. All right, now we're going on to number 3. We have a 5 over here, and this is not a 5, so we have to convert it to a 5. And this is when it says, remember, power rule, the distribution. So we're going to use the power rule here. 5 times what is 125? 5 times 5. In other words, how many um, 5 goes into 125? 5 times 5 is 25. Let's just say it's 5y to the x3. Yep, so it's 5 to the third. Okay, and this is where that distribution or the power, power rule comes into play, the distributive property, because we have to say m times 3 and a negative 2 times 3. So we get 5 to the 3m minus 6 equals 5 squared. Okay, then we say 3m minus 6 equals 2, because we have the same bases here. We add 6, divide by 3, 
and m equals eight thirds. Okay. So um, let's go on to the next one. So just know that yes, you will be getting some fractions. Okay. All right, let's do number seven. Oh dear, there's not a five. We've got kind of related to five because five, one fifth, if it moves upstairs, five to the negative one, multiply that with a negative three in. And 625, let's see, five, y to the x four. Oh, I'm good. Okay, so 5 to the 4th times 2n. Is that a 2n? It's pretty bad when you can't read your own writing, huh? Okay, next. We multiply these two, and it's going to be 5 to the positive 3n equals 5 to the positive 8n. Now we can set these equal to each other. We got the same base here, 3n equals 8n. If I go minus 8n, minus 8n, we get negative 5n equals 0. Divide by negative 5, and n equals 0. Okay, students, you can do the rest of these. You rock.